This might be one of the worst Terminator games I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the graphics look mediocre to the point where it's like, yeah, it's kind of doable. But if you s look at it, like, it just looks like it was made in like t the year 2000 or something, like many, many years ago. It doesn't look that in that that high end. Um, maybe it's just like a bad demo or the resolution wasn't um, amped up or boosted up. Uh, but look, it looks very simple, like you know, a game where you're playing your cell phone or a mobile phone. It doesn't really look like, you know, it, look, it looks like, and it looks like how it's fixed. I, I'm not impressed with this game, but just like looking at it, I'm just like, no, nah, I don't really want to play it. I just, you know. It's just not for me. Compared to the other Terminator games where you can be in the first person and you can take on Terminators individually or you can take on Terminators as a group or big mech robots. I understand it's a different style of game. It's a tactical game where you're controlling everything on the battlefield, kind of like a Command and Conquer style of game. I just I just don't think this game really works too well. I mean, I'm not really, really into it that much. Look at the ghosting, the bloom. You can barely see much. I'm sure the gameplay might be okay, but difficulty realistic. Yeah, it's going to be really hard. Let's take a look. Yeah, they're getting destroyed pretty good, huh? You can see like red little symbols. So that looks good. The cutscenes. You know, could that save the game? I don't know. No, that looks awful. That doesn't even look like a Terminator. This looks like a really cheap knockoff. And do they even want to get paid for this? Like, how much do they want for this? That's the thing. How much? $40 originally, but reduced down by 10% to $36. I don't even think this is priced correctly for the graphics and, you know, the content you're getting. I think this is like maybe a free game or a pay to win. You just pay in the game and you upgrade everything. And that's how they make their money. Um,. Or possibly maybe like 10, 20 bucks tops. I wouldn't pay nowhere near 35, 40. This is more like a, more, it looks more like a free game. This does. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comment section. If you saw what I saw and you realize, whoa, that doesn't look exactly premium compared to the other Terminator games that we've received over the years, then let me know. But that's just my opinion on this Terminator Dark Fate Defiance game. I just think it's, it could, it could have been a lot, lot more polished. It could have been better made. It, I just, I'm just not really into it. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to play it. I'm not even going to watch it. You know, I've seen it, and I'm like, nah. Next. Let's see the next Terminator game. The next uh, generation of Terminator games to evolve into something absolutely incredible, like a VR Terminator game or, you know, something that's just like blows your mind. All right, see ya.